Hi guys and welcome to my channel. Today I will show you how to convert any 2D graphic from the internet or any of your own drawings into a 3D object like an SDL. This 3D object I will then use to add or subtract from any 3D surface. In this case today I'm removing it from the labial surface of a single central number 9 using ExoCAD 3. If you are a 3 shape user I will show you at the end of this video how to do this in Mesh Mixer, so stay tuned. Welcome back to the video. Let's say we finished our design in ExoCAD, merged everything, and a client calls us up asking if we could add a symbol on the surface of tooth number 9. So what do we do now? In this case, our client likes the Detroit Tigers. So I go online and look for graphics typing Detroit Tigers logo file type PNG. That will give me only graphics with a translucent background. I right click and save the image to the desktop. Then I go to the web page convertio.co. I will leave the link in the description. Select PNG as the entry file and SVG, that is a scalable vector graphic, as the output file. I load the image, the Detroit Tigers PNG, and click on convert. After the conversion is finished, I download the file to my desktop. After that, I open the web page tinkercad.com. I will leave the link in the description. Tinkercad is a free 3D graphics online tool where you can sign up an account, log in and create and manipulate 3D objects. The advantage to Mesh Mixer is that Tinkercad supports SVG files and converts them into 3D objects. So I click on import and select the SVG file I just created from the Detroit Tiger PN. Some files are too large to fit the grid, so you can delete the last digits. The file is not important um, since we are resizing the file later in ExoCAD. If you like to resize a file in Tinkercad, click on the object and press Shift to drag the upper right marker towards the middle. If you like to add some height, just click and drag the middle marker up to your desired height. I'm choosing 13 in this case. After I'm finished with all the adjustments, I click on export and select SDL as an output file. OBG is also an option, but the only difference is that OBG contains colors. So here you can see the 2D graphic and the SDL file I created out of it. You can use this 3D object now to add or to subtract from any 3D object. Back to our case in ExoCAD. Click on Expert Mode and Next. In order to adjust the design and add or subtract any files, I click on Freeform Merged from the lower menu. From the pop-up menu, I then choose ATT, which stands for Attachments, and I can choose either to add or subtract any parts. In my case, I select Subtract. In the library menu, I scroll all the way down to Load from File and select the file I exported from Tinkercad. This file I can now move, rotate or scale to the desired position. I start to scale the file by holding down the Shift key and drag the mouse towards the middle of the object. I switch to rotate and position the logo to the correct orientation. One important step is to make sure the object does not cut into the minimum thickness map. Therefore, I bring the visibility up to 100% and disable the merge part. Since the minimum thickness and the objects are both red, I switch to Add tab and create a better contrast. And now I can see that my Tiger's logo does not intersect to the minimum thickness. If it does intersect, move it slightly out of the red zone and switch back to Subtract. Now I can make the merge part visible again and start cutting into the crown. 
make sure the allow changes checkbox is not selected. When I select it, it will give me a message that the operation was unsuccessful. Click on apply and check the results. After that, I'm finished and I can exit the CAD module. By clicking on the Open in Explorer tab, I can now open the finished STL file. Here you can see that the logo was cut off the crown nice and clean. I suggest 3D printing and pressing the crown either in Emacs or Lishi, since milling would not be possible. Now, if you're a three shape user, let's take a look at a short tutorial on how to get the same result in Mesh Mixer. The first thing I usually do is to remesh every object I import into Mesh Mixer to make sure I have a clean cut when I subtract any objects from each other. I'm by no means an expert in Mesh Mixer and there are many tutorials online I recommend watching. Most of the tools you will find in Mesh Mixer are built into ExoCAD, so I usually do not use Mesh Mixer that frequently. If you have a better method of doing this, um, please leave me a comment below. I understand a lot of technicians are still using 3Shape and it's a great software. For me, ExoCAD works the best because it gives me the freedom and ability to develop workflows that are outside of the standard process. When you get into all on four designs, you will notice that 3Shape is a great software, but it has its limitations. So I hope you liked this video and it was helpful to you. Please subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell and get updated on all future videos. Please leave a comment below what you liked most in this video. Until then, have a great day. Bye.